And so for the last month, one thing that I've really wanted was a baritone guitar. However, I can't really warrant a baritone guitar because I don't really have a need for it. The type of music I play doesn't really call for a baritone guitar. And so far, I haven't really found any that are close by, so I haven't had an opportunity to try it to really decide if I need one or not. However, the other day when I was on YouTube, I found this video by Red Shoal talking about the D standard tuning. Now, if you're unfamiliar with D standard tuning, it's essentially just like E standard tuning, our regular tuning system, but we go down a whole step. And because of that, the guitar resonates a little differently. After watching this video, I thought the guitar sounded really good and I was really intrigued and wanted to try it out. So I did. And today I'm going to share my explorations with you. So with me, I have these two guitars. I have my Fujian J standard Iliad, which is like a Telecaster kind of guitar with humbuckers. And I also have my D'Angelico XL SS guitar. This one's a solid body, this one's a semi hollow, but this one has a D standard tuning and this one's in regular standard E tuning. So what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna play the same exact songs but on the different guitars so you can kind of hear how it responds differently. They are pretty different guitars, but I think you'll still be able to get a nice and solid response from it. I'm basically gonna only be using the neck pickup on both of these, which are both humbuckers. And I'm gonna go through excerpts of songs playing a few solo guitar renditions of some stuff. Now, because I'm a jazz musician and also kind of stubborn, I'm probably not gonna play the songs exactly the same, but I think that works out in the favor of the tuning. So essentially, I'm going to be playing the songs based on where it's resonating for me with the instrument. So with this D standard guitar, I might play some things that are lower in range. I might drop things down an octave in the melody just because I can and because it sounds cool. And I'll be talking about this as I switch back and forth for guitars. On our D standard guitar, I have this pair of Diodario Pure Nickel strings. These are 12 gauge strings. Sorry, I like heavy strings. There were tens on here before, but I decided to go up to 12s to really get that like kind of big feeling. And on my trusty D Angelico, I have the Tomastic Inkfields B-Pop 13 gauge strings. So they're a bit heavier. However, the Tomastic strings aren't exactly the same as regular strings in terms of gauge. I know this one starts at 13, but this one actually is lighter than most other 13 gauge sets. And I, I guess I like to torture myself by playing on heavy strings, but I think it sounds cool. But anyway, let's jump right in. I'm gonna start with this one, which is an E standard tuning. I'm gonna play the song. And then after I'm gonna switch to the D standard guitar and we're gonna see how that sounds. So the first song is gonna be a jazz standard called It Could Happen To You. I'm gonna play the first 16 measures. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the D standard guitar. This one's gonna be an interesting one because that song is in the key of E flat, so the tonic chord is an E flat major seven chord. Before I had to stick to this part of the neck because we can't go down and play an E flat because in E standard tuning, the lowest note is E. But however, now the lowest note is D, so now this is our E flat major chord. just make sure it's in tune real quick and then I'm gonna show you what it sounds like there I'm gonna actually drop the melody down an octave because now I have the range to do so so without further ado here's it could happen to you in the D standard guitar So this is a completely different sonic character. Now I'll try to play it kind of how I played on the other guitar up here, up in octave, so you can kind of hear how it sounds. I'll just play the first four bars or so.
super cool how it sounds completely different from response. I played over four bars, I'm sorry. Cool, so the second song I'm gonna play is a song by Phoebe Bridges called Kyoto, and I'm gonna actually play the copycat killer version. I made a video on this a while ago, so if you want, go check that out, and there's also a cover that accompanies that. But anyway, here's how it goes. This is the E standard one again. I'm gonna play just the chorus. <laughs> Okay, cool. So now I'm going to switch back to the D standard. One thing I do have to say about switching back and forth is that I actually feel like these strings are a little more comfy. These are approximately one gauge lighter than the other ones, and they're also a whole step down. For some reason, they just feel a lot more comfortable. I don't know what it is, but yeah, something about it feels really nice, and it's a lot easier to have a nice time feel. But anyway, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to play it down an octave, and then I'll play it up an octave again in about the same kind of way. So here it is down an octave. So the first part I played down an octave, but then I eventually had to jump up to play this part. So I'm just going to take that first part up an octave and show you that. So here we go. response even when I'm playing all the way up here I did find that when I was playing the part that was like that we don't have E there anymore so like we can't really use that note there so that kind of bummed me out but other than that really cool anyway let's keep on going so for this next one I'm gonna do a jazz standard that I really like it's called you don't know love us this one's a ballad I'm gonna play like I don't know the first A or something Okay, so now let's hear that with a D standard guitar. So that one's actually in the key of F, so I'm gonna go down an octave because that also translates well, and then I'll play some of it up an octave. So let's hear that. So now I'm going to play a little bit of that up an octave so you get a sound of that.
one kind of cool voicing that you get. Something like. Yeah, super gnarly. So now I'm gonna do this Beatles tune called For No One. This one I usually play pretty low anyway, so I'm gonna play the same both times. Let's hear how that sounds. And now here's the bridge of that song. So let's hear it on the D standard. What I really like about that is we could do B major first inversion, but have it like this. So we have the D sharp right here, and you get this like really gnarly. So I really did that. Now I'm gonna play the bridge of the song. You can also go like... So now actually what I want to play is just a C major scale going up and A minor pentatonic going down just so you can kind of hear the I guess, neutral sound. I'm going to play it once clean and once with overdrive with a D standard and with this one. So here's the regular one, C major up, A minor pentatonic down. Here it is overdriven. So here's C major going up, A minor pentatonic going down. Here's with overdrive. And there we have it. If I'm being honest, this probably won't replace a baritone guitar for me. It, it is a different instrument, but I really like it. But yeah, thank you, Red, for making a great video on the D standard tuning. It actually inspired me, and I'm probably gonna keep this in D standard tuning, but that also probably means I might need to get another electric guitar. And if you like shootouts like this, I did one on a ribbon mic shootout on electric guitars, and I did another one on a dynamic mic on electric guitars, so check any of those out. They might be up your alley. But anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.